moving right along towards our main event. This next bout on the card is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the XMMA featherweight division and is presented by America's Card Room. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145.2 pounds. He holds a professional record of 11 wins, three losses, and he fights out of Austin, Texas. Introducing Carlton Clutch Minas. And his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, he stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 144.6 pounds. He holds a professional record of 10 wins, 5 losses, and he fights out of Boston, Massachusetts. Introducing Kyle Crash Bokniak. Our referee in charge, Myron Godet. Did someone just yell forward pressure? Did you hear that? <laughs> Coach, I'm pretty sure right someone away. just yelled forward pressure. All right, looks like they want to start quick. Bokniak and Midas. Oh, yeah, they sprinted right to the center of the octagon. Bokniak with the lay kick to Midas. A straight one two from Carl to Midas. Well, that's what Bokniak said is his only tool. He just said he was just a one two, very limited fighter. Bokniak well, switched to southpaw position, maybe setting up a takedown from this position, trying to get that outside angle. Eats a jab while he throws the tee back to conventional. Will Bokniak try to slow down his opponent, you think, similar as we just saw in our last fight, Anj Luza and John Howard? We try to get some grappling and try to slow down the taller, rangier guy. I don't know if Bokniak is uh, slow. It could be mentioned in the same sentence. Bokniak is slow. No, I said, will, will he try to slow him down? Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think he's trying to push forward, try to ground a pound, and try to finish him. Boy. Bokniak ate a couple shots, though, for Minus. That's right. Minus is looking good to strike him. Bokniak throwing some strikes of his own. Oh, that the, rage. That in the striking department, Minus is a plus. Oh, I like what you did there, Apple. <laughs> I like what you did there. Oh, right hand for Bokniak. Calf kick by Bokniak. Carlton hanging in. Beautiful one tens, uh, one twos for Minus. Still just 90 seconds into this first of three five-minute rounds. Lots of action within 90 seconds. Yeah. Shots landed for both individuals to the body, to the legs, to the heads. Well, you. lots of actions, lots of action minus any takedowns. Oh, you're on fire, Apple. Good footwork by Carlton Minus right there, picking him off with one twos. Lateral movement using the whole cage side to side. That's really good, creating angles. As soon as Bokniak squares up with them, he throws his strikes, setting some really good traps here. Oh, beautiful nice shot. left hook by Bokniak and a stiff jab to follow. Uh -huh. He's starting to push forward, yeah, take and go. Carlton Midas can land some shots, but now we're you know two minutes into the fight, and how long can he keep it up? Well, I'm because now he's backpedaling. I see Bokniak making an adjustment. He's taking and going, opposed to swinging at the same time. Trying to change punch for punch isn't working. Now he's walking forward, taking and going. Uh -huh. Smart. And now he's got Minus is on his horse. Great job, footwork by Minus, but good cutting off by Bokniak. A very competitive fight so far. Oh, big spinny back fist. Oh, your favorite strike, Apple. Yeah, I have lots of fun with that one. You can see Bokniak again trying to get in a scrap here, thriving in this kind of fight. Beautiful left hook yep. to the body, right hand to yep. the head. Now Pushing we're, forward again. Now we're three minutes into this first round, and Bokniak is starting to measure him up a little bit better. But will he have the minus touch? Is that what it is? Is it the minus touch? So. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Midas. That's two for three, though. Oh, sorry. Beautiful catch of the kick and takedown. Carlton Minus decides to disengage. He likes what's going on in his feet here. This is a very competitive fight. Competitive in the striking as well. Oh, it looked like a spin that Carlton Minus wanted as well. Nice rear leg teep there from Bokniak. I, I mean, I think Bokniak would, would love it if we scheduled him 10-round 10, 10 fights. Yes, I think he would. <laughs> he wouldn't complain. I mean, to the death or something he preferred. 
the Carlton Minus is, is here to oh, fight, man. Big he's here to fight. Carl, you now, see that? Yes, you know, Minus is being elusive, but he's but he's being aggressive, right? I, I want to give the aggressor the points, but but he's an aggressive, elusive fighter. There's a difference, right? He's not a runner. He's he's a tactician or he's a tactician fighter out there. He's going side to side, creating angles, creating openings, and landing some some solid strikes. Oh. A beautiful exchange by Bogniak. You know, and Bakhnev does something really, really nice that a lot of fighters don't, is he stays engaged even when he's being swung at. Yeah. You know, you see him just lower his level a little bit and fire back right away instead of backing out and back, you know, and coming all the way back in. I couldn't agree more. Right this is a fighter's fighter right here. You know, sometimes you see these fights, you go, now I go. You go, and no one really wants to follow up. Not Bakhnev. He's going to yeah. eat some to give some. They don't make him like that. Justin Gaethje's one of the guys that comes forward. Nate Diaz yeah. is one of that comes forward. Bokniak's one of those guys who just who likes to engage and he just has that in him. Yeah. Sort of like someone uh, I know that well, we just saw who cornered up Kyle Stewart. His coach Robert Emerson's a guy who just all even since when he first started MMA, he yeah. liked to engage. Well, Emerson it was is, just a, in him. is an MMA legend as well. Been in the sport for a long time. It's great to see these guys coaching the yep. the, the future of MMA. Great trade there. I also want to tell you that Robert Emerson also has an incredible <laughs> Drop kick, a WWF style drop kick. I've seen him do. Uh, I actually, to me. In MMA, in an MMA. No, no, fight, no. He did it to me uh, on the, the beach. The only drop kick I've ever seen is for Beast of War Doom and MMA. Oh, on the beach. Yeah. That's, we don't we don't do street fighting here, Apple. <laughs> no, he thought it was funny. Or beach fighting. I, I kind of thought it was funny. Look at that. Carlton Minus pumped up. Just yeah. gave a fist bump to his partner, his coach. He's standing up tall, looking confident, enjoying the process here. It's the kind of fighters you like. And perfect matchup between Bokniak and Minus right here. This is a, it's a great matchup. Two different fighters, but a great recipe for MMA. And you see Sateki Matsuda is in the corner over here of Carlton Minus as well. That's great. Sateki's here supporting his teammate. Even after he fought. I'm sorry. He, he's in the corner of Kyle Bokniak, not Sateki, not uh, Carlton Minus. It's okay, Both we forgive you. We forgive you. We forgive you. Thank you. Thank the Lord. Let's get the second of three five minute rounds started. And Carlton Minus has done a good job here in this first round. Been very impressive. Hard to decide who won that first round from our point of view, but that's not our job. I'm here enjoying it. Both these gentlemen staying in the center, trading right away. Beautiful straights from Minus. I think when he adds that upper uppercut, lead uppercut or rear uppercut, it's great. Great. Oh, even attacking the body. Switching the feet up on the attack as well. Really advanced striking for Carlton Midas so far. Again, his lateral movement, his in and out movement, using his reach really well. And, and, and again, not scared to exchange momentarily with Bokniak. Oh! Hey. A lot of nice guys who are elusive, kick. they flee with their, with their chin up in the air and they get caught in a hook on the way out. But Carlton Minus doing a good job of moving, protecting his chin, taking strikes well. I see Bokniak putting a lot of faith and a lot of effort in those low calf kicks. Will oh, that pay dividends later? What a level change to the single leg, running the pipe. The cage kept Carl Minus, turn minus up. Speeding back elbow by Bokniak. Another low and kick. LA kick. He's investing in that low calf kick. I love those long attacks like that. that uh, to me, that scores big points. Big combination, level change, grabs a single leg, spinning elbow off the break against the cage. Nice right, calf kick again. And I think it's starting to make a difference. Watch, watch the movement now, Carlton Minus. Here comes another calf kick. Minus staying in the pocket though. He's not moving right now. He's yeah. grounded. Maybe you're right, it's the leg, or maybe he just wants to oblige and stay in the pocket here. Bokniak's gonna keep working on that calf. Look at that, one, two's in the pocket. Yeah. Left hook by Bokniak. His co the corner of Bokniak saying, don't kill everyone, meaning don't throw power everything. You may miss a shot. Oh! Oh! What an exchange. The inside right hand. Bokniak's enjoying himself. Oh, another right hook. He's talking <laughs> smack. Oh, Bokniak having success as a southpaw switch back to conventional. He might go back to southpaw where that right hook was landing. Uh-oh. Uh I think I think Minus is starting to run out of gas. Bokniak starting to He's get in his down. groove. Another calf kick. That might have hurt him. It might be the calf kicks. You're right, because he's not moving the same. Nope. His lateral movement's not there. He's either tired or that calf kick is doing some damage. I'm having some PTSD of my own. How about it could be both. Could be both. Bokniak thriving in this kind of... Right. Oh, yeah, he's thriving here. That investment oh. is working. Oh. 
But Minus is going to have to stand southpaw now. Yeah, he can't Minus stand is Rager. showing it. Minus is showing it. This is what Bogniak loves. This is where he thrives. This is what you said was going to happen, Apple. We're only halfway through the fight. And halfway through the fight, Bogniak has turned the corner. Can Minus stop the assault of his opponent? Minus is now at the southpaw position. Switches back to conventional, but his leg's in danger when he's there. Nice. And Bokniak's still hitting it. And what happens when you hit that nerve is it gives you almost like, oh. like a like drop foot. You can't control the muscles that move your foot. So you're almost dragging it around. Oh. Bokniak is just an animal, man. Pushing forward the whole time. Just trusting his chin, trusting his skills, and trusting his gas tank that it'll last. And then he could, he could wear any of his opponents. Knowing that you're gonna step on the gas pedal yeah. and that they're gonna run out of gas first is amazing. And cardio is such a beautiful weapon in this sport, and Bokniak is showing it. Bokniak's one of those guys who wears you out just because he comes forward so much. He almost he emotionally wears you out because you're constantly backing up. Even if he's not damaging you physically, it's emotionally tough. How, how game is minus, though? How game is minus, man? He's staying in there, banging away. Yep, we're finding out right now. Bokniak's wearing a little bit of damage on his face, but I think he's definitely winning this round. Yeah, Bokniak is feeling in his groove oh, nice right now. Kick. He loves this toe-to-toe -to -toe action. Body, head, leg, body, head, head. Yeah, he stays so busy. He stays so busy. Look at Bokniak go, man. Let's go. And like I said, uh, minus the oh, great, oh, big uppercut. shot. Knocked the mouthpiece out almost. Another uppercut. I'm thinking we're going to see a, a spectacular strike here from Bokniak to finish the round. We've got 30 seconds left. I'm thinking he's going to throw in like a spinning back fist again or something wild like that. Beautiful left hook to the, the tight clinch. Throws oh, a knee. Oh, that was a good one. Good, powerful calf kick. Nice left hook as well. Minus, though, he's not backing up. Yeah. Kudos to Minus. What toughness. Man. To oh. say yes to this fight and to fight the way he's fighting. Really putting on a show for these fans. Oh, spinning back fist to end the round, just like I oh, told you. Oh, you're so happy you got oh. that one right, Apple. So happy you called that one. You got it oh, right, though. Wow. You said it. You said it. Man, it's almost like I've done this before. <laughs> it's almost like I've seen a couple fights in my oh, lifetime. Oh, my gosh. You're so great, Apple. There's the calf kick by Bokniak. You can see the movement slowing down of Carlton Minus. Goes to the head afterwards. Carlton with some beautiful straight strikes, some great uppercuts, some really good moments. But again, that calf kick over and over by Bokniak keeps landing and slowing down his opponent. Again, there's another calf kick followed by a teeth. But some of these exchanges were great. The right uppercuts from the southpaw position, the right hooks some from the of them, southpaw positions. I mean, most of them were pretty amazing, right? These guys, these guys are showing how high level they are, why they deserve to be on the big show. They're really doing a great job, Gilbert, aren't they? Yes, Apple. <laughs> final, right, guys. final of three scheduled five-minute rounds. Hey, I'm going to say the first round went to Carlton Minus. I'm going to say the second round went to Bokniak. That could have been a 10-8 in my opinion. Oh. Oh, big check there. That Look at that. Tough. Carlton Minus coming out. Shebang right out the gate. I love it. That was a check. Another oh. one. Yeah, the first, one could, the first round could have gone either way. I don't know who won it. Second round, I would definitely say it was Bokniak. And now they're exchanging once well, again. Well, Minus is going into Bokniak's world here, and he's pressing forward trying to sling him. He was very lateral movement in that first round. He was in and out. Now he's decided to bite down. His corner told him to push forward. And I think we're in luck that they told him and that. I'll tell you what, Minus also really threw a lot of body shots this round. Oh, oh, oh. beautiful. Man, I haven't seen this toe-to-toe -to -toe boxing in a while in MMA. These guys are doing some bone booth fighting here, baby. This, this looks like a Gilbert Melendez fight. Oh, look at oh, the double change. Bokniak with a double sprawl by Minus. Front headlock by Bokniak. Knee off the break. Wow. And great exchange. Minus, great takedown defense. Good hips. Good hips. It's all in the hips, as, as Billy Madison would say. Him and Chubbs Peterson. <laughs> it's all in the hips. Back to the action. Three 
minutes, 45 seconds to go in the final round. Will Kyle Bokniak extend his ex-MMA record to 3-0, or will Carlton Minus steal a win here? Man, those left hooks are looking great. The hooks are really working for Bokniak. That usually works good against fighters who throw straight punches. Uh, Carlton Minus is in and out, but doesn't level change or head move as well as, as Bokniak does. Bokniak slips to the side really Oy. well. Good boxing. Nice elbow using, the, using those rangy arms. Yeah, it's a great idea. Maybe using he goes back reach. to it. It's a great idea. That was impressive. He might go back to those. Pummel over those hands, drop some elbows. I think, I think we should look for Bakhnia to try one more level change in this fight to make sure he seals off this third round. But well, those shots right there worked. Even though this is competitive, you can just see the, the posture of Bokniak. He looks like he's in great shape. But, you know, Carlton Minus, you know, he's tired. He's limping around. He's in a war. He's very much in it. Yeah, he but is. But he's showing his damage. Yeah, I still think it'd be smart for Bokniak to hit, try to hit another level change and get, like, get at least one takedown in this round. Yeah. Even if he doesn't keep him there for more than a few seconds. Yeah, he tried. You know, I, I think Carlton Minus showed he's not an easy guy to take down. Oh, big shots there again inside. And Bokniak really showed a good range. He stored a lot of knees, punches, kicks, even that spinning back fist. This is a brutal round. These guys are standing toe to toe. Yeah, both these guys are going to feel this tomorrow. <laughs> they're going to feel good. I agree. You know, they're going to be icing their, all their, both their hands and their faces. You know it's a good fight when, you, when every one of your fingers is broken. Oh, big right, crisp. Two minutes to go. We're 13 minutes into the fight. The final two minutes. Who is going to put in that extra effort and put an exclamation mark on it? Oh, Minus trying to push. Get a little push here. Bokniak responds, overhand right. Both guys landed on the chin. Big exchange. Carlton tried another elbow again. Try that front lead elbow. Oh, oh nice oh, knee. knee. Great idea by Minus. Needs more of those elbows and knees. Oh. More kicks. Minus is showing he is in the game. Yeah, he's in it. He's in it. He needs a big knockdown or a big switch of momentum. Man, both of these guys are really pushing forward. Oh, Unbelievable. Goodness. Final minute. What a tough group of featherweights right here. Holy smokes, these guys are going at it. What is the punch count on these guys? Yeah, it's got to be high. It has to be high. Nice knee again. Carlton Minus is fighting fire with fire. Yes, man, what a game plan switch to press forward from an elusive fighter to a pressing forward fighter. These guys are going at it. 40 seconds left. Who is going to win this round? I don't know who's winning this one. Bokniak maybe, but it's really close. It is very competitive. It's going to be tough to call this one here. Oh, another good calf kick. 30 seconds left. Oh, oh, big right hand. My goodness. Wow. How are these guys throwing? There oh, you go. there's the Man. shot. Man, minus great hips. Really good hips. 10 seconds left. They're swinging. They're Who's swinging. gonna finish the fight? Beautiful knee, elbow, big punches. Wow. Whoa, my wow. goodness. Really good fight. Really good fight. Holy gonna be hard smokes. for the judges. What a fight. Very competitive. Kyle Bokniak at one point looks real strong, but Carl Tobin has hung in there and came back and made it, made it real close, and he made it very competitive. And I couldn't tell you who won that last round. I'll tell you what, I was surprised Carlton Minus did so good in that third round. I mean, I thought he might have been in trouble, but he flipped the switch and hold the center of the cage and push forward. There's the takedown attempt failed by Bokniak, but a great decision to do it. Land some strikes, 10 seconds left. Both guys swinging to the very last second. Yeah. The bell rings. What a beautiful we performance had to see by these guys. Three, Big four, 400 right strikes from each guy, right? Look at the respect between both of them. Yep. I have respect for both these gentlemen. 100%. What a fight. Well, get in there and go talk to the winner, buddy. Uh, I will. Thanks, Apple.
Incredible fight. Really incredible fight. Tough guys. You know, Bokniak's known as, as one of the tougher uh, fighters that likes to move forward, but Carlton Minus, uh, he met the challenge 100%, and I think Big Mo has the, uh, has the score. Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we go to the judge's scorecard for the official decision. Judge Allen scores at 29 to 28, Bokniak. Split decision. Judge Sherman scores at 29 to 28, minus. And Judge Barahona scores at 29 to 28, declaring your winner by split decision, Kyle Crash Bokniak. Now, if there's any fight that we saw tonight that could have gone either way, that is the one. I mean, every one of those rounds is really, really close, especially that last one. And Carlton Minus, you know, even with the loss on that one, uh, definitely earned everybody's respect here at XMMA4 Black Magic. Let's go into the cage with Gilbert Melendez and Kyle Bokniak. What a performance, Kyle Bokniak and Carlton Minus. Let's give it a hand for both these gentlemen. Kyle, that had to be one of the best fights I've ever seen in my life. I was here front row and I got to check that out. What amazing performance. You seem to thrive in the chaos. Tell us why you're always getting in these kind of fights. I don't know, I'm a sicko, I just love it. I get stronger when the, the fight goes longer. So it is what it is and uh, props to, I don't know, what's his name? Carlton, oh God, <laughs> he's a beast man. He puts me to my limit. I love those types of fights. He draws the best out of me. I love tough opponents, new tests every single time. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank my, my wife. I love your support. Uh, and my son, KJ, he's eight months. And uh, my head coach, John Clark, man. Find someone like this in your life, man. You'll be all set. My teammates, Tateki, Enrico, and everybody in Broadway Jiu Jitsu. Thanks, guys. It's for you. Well, in the second round, it looked like you were starting to run away with the fight, attacking the calf, landing some big p punches, switching to uh, Southpaw, landing some big rights. Were you surprised? How much he performed in the third round. Yeah, yeah, uh, he, no quitting him. He came forward, he didn't back down. He came out blazing the third round. I knew he was gonna do that. I, fe I felt like he was down two rounds and I could tell there was no quitting him. He was smiling in between rounds, staring me down. So I knew it was gonna be a tough fight. Well, Kyle Bokniak, you've been super impressive in this ex-MMA cage. We'd love to see you back here. Who do you wanna fight next? And what do you wanna do here in the ex-MMA cage? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what's next, but a title will be nice. Uh, I don't know. I'm opening the gym in the summer. I got a lot going on. I got my kid at home. So wherever the dominoes fall is where I'll go. I'll tell you what, when Kyle Bokniak fights, I'm tuning in. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Bokniak. Oh, and one more thing. I want to give a shout out to my sponsor, uh, Marshall Inu Token. They do a phenomenal things for the martial arts community. And chain mine. You guys are the best. Check them out if you want to get wealthy in crypto, all right? Let's go. Give it up, everybody.